This Nationals contest prep has uh, been pretty eye-opening. My progress is happening really, really fast, and I'm in a better spot right now at five weeks out than I think I've ever been as far as how big I am and how lean I am and having so much more time to go. It's really exciting. It stems from the evolution of all the principles that I've been putting into play and all the different preparations that I've gone through over the last five years. Bits and details and information from all of them compiled and utilized. During this prep, I decided to not do any intense cardio at all, not even moderately intense cardio. Everything is getting steps. So I walk for an hour, 45 minutes in the morning, and then I'll walk for an hour, 45 minutes in the evening. I try to clock 20,000 steps on my Fitbit every day. And that with just pulling my food down is more than sufficient. Like my fatigue levels have never been lower. My sleep quality remains really high. My sleep score is still in the mid to upper 80s, which is phenomenal. Even if it's a night where I only get like six hours of sleep, it's still high. And that's from not being so fatigued. I also am using less harsh supplements. So like trend, like the T word, I'm only taking 200 milligrams of that a week enough so that I'm getting a benefit from it as far as like composition and intensity and training, but it's not affecting my sleep, which is in turn, not allowing all this fatigue to build up, which is what really makes you feel like hell. And my progress has just been phenomenal. I'm really pumped about the end result and what it's going to be. I'm going to be my leanest ever for sure. My glutes are really actually coming in. But like I was recording my check-ins this morning and just walking away from the camera or turning around and setting up in the back poses. My butt looks like it's a bunch of rocks in a bag that are jumbling around. It was like really crazy to see that kind of that detail. My back is already lean and dry. And that's an area that I would I would typically stay softer on. So just seeing all these things come together is really cool, man. Um Definitely attribute it, you know, to the training philosophy, to heavy duty 3.0, controlling all the variables, you know, managing fatigue, uh, always progressively overloading, not putting my body under massive amounts of systemic stress and inflammation. Everything is working and operating in its own lane. My extra activity doesn't impede with my weight training. My weight training doesn't impede with my, you know, ability to sleep or function and perform in daily life. And the body's happy and everything is following. It's it's phenomenal, man. Doing the little modifications on my training split, you know, adding the subsequent or the additional volume on those in-between sessions, you know, like throwing in that set of biceps on chest and shoulder day, as well as them having their own day. I feel like that's paying really big dividends to my front double bicep, which like one of my worst poses in the past. Now it's really good. It's really strong. I brought my shoulders up to match how much my arms improved. My chest fullness is good. Phil told me he wanted, last time I competed, you know, it was his biggest critique on me was like, hey dude, you need to do something to bring up the middle of your back. Your back is so thick and so big that, you know, you need more detail. You need deeper lines, you know, since implementing the Kelso shrugs and doing the, the back days, the way I've been having them structured, that's improved within a matter of a couple of months. Like that thing stands out. Like my back double bicep pose is just better. Everything's better. And I talked about being as heavy as I am and as lean as I am. I've never had cross striations and feathering in my quads like I have now. And I've got them on the inside and the outside. And I'm five weeks out. Like that's cool as shit, man. To see everything come together like this, it's just a testament to the system and the approach, the whole mid and approach to things where it's analytical. It's all based off of logic. It's all based on for reason from going down to taking out stairs and the biking and the elliptical to just walking. Well, walking is the least intense of all of them. It's going to burn the least amount of muscle glycogen. Therefore, my food isn't going to be used to replenish glycogen stores that are just depleted from cardio and creating this cycle. Like, no, it's just going to burn fat, right? It's just thermogenesis, just going to burn up fat, minimal fatigue. And that gives more of an opening for my training and for my food to do its job there. My systemic fatigue is lower. My inflammation is lower. Everything works better. We talked in the past about the body being, we say it all the time that the body is a closed system. It can only perform so many functions. If some of the things you're trying to do are too great, it's going to impede on the others. But now it seems like everything is really working in balance and in tandem. I was able to go up on the softer supplements and come down on the harder ones and everything is just working so much better. I've never been in a spot like I am now and I'm really, really pumped up about it. It's really exciting. I was hoping to go into nationals and like, you know, well, if I just top five in my class would be cool. 
I'm shooting for a pro card and I think that I can do it. I think that my physique is balanced enough. It's complete enough. There aren't enough holes in it. I'm going to be lean enough. I'm going to have a great aesthetic, which is something I always carried, but it's going to be even more polished. I'm going to look big when I need to look big. I'm going to be shredded and I'm going to be complete and aesthetically pleasing. And I think that's going to outshine a lot of guys who rely on sheer muscularity or rely on sheer crazy conditioning. I won't be the biggest. I probably won't be the most shredded, but I think I'll have the best balance or one of the best balances of all of them. And I think that's going to make me really, really competitive.